This is a big announcement, yeah. Uh, I've decided I'm, I'm retiring from the UFC and I'm going to join ballet, is it called? Yes, yeah, so <laughs> No, I just want to say uh, that this guy fought a few weeks ago on Cage Warriors. An unbelievable performance. He knows who he is because he's standing right next to me and he's in the UFC now, Tom Aspinall. So can we give him a round of applause, please? Speech. 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 Oh, no speeches. Here he is. What, are you going to do the questions or do you want me to just... If anyone wants to ask you the questions, Tom. Throw you know. the questions at me, I'm not going to do a speech. If someone asked me something. How did the deal come about, Tom? Uh, the deal came out about with me uh, knocking out an un unbeaten opponent quick. And then uh, the UFC just got in touch quick and I accepted the deal and now I'm in. Was that one of the quickest rises in Cage Warriors history, you would you say? Because what was it, two fights this year and then UFC by the end? Uh, I don't know, I don't keep track on Cage Warriors or anything like that to be honest, but um, it felt quick for me, yeah. A couple of quick fights and, and I'm in, yeah. Do you feel ready, yeah? I feel ready, yeah. It's one of them. The heavyweight division is so shallow that you beat a couple of guys and you're in. It's not like the other divisions, you know. It's one of them where I'm going to have to learn on, learn on the job a little bit. And uh, like a, not a lot of other heavyweights, you know, I've only had uh, nine pro fights, so it's not too many. All right. Yeah, nine pro fights. So I'm going to have to learn on the job a little bit, but I'm ready. So ready to make some uh, waves in the heavyweight division, yeah. If you could pinpoint one guy, um, regardless of ranking or anything, that you'd like to throw down in the heavyweight division in the UFC, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Lesnar. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, damn right, Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Call contract up with WWE now. He's left the UFC. Get him out of his WWE. Get him in the UFC and get him to fight me. I'll fight him. <laughs> Anyone else? What? Who's active right now? Active right now. Yeah. I think Engadu would be in the I'd probably be injured on that day, to be honest. I'd <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably go know. for. <laughs> I'd like to fight Junior Dos Santos, I'd like to fight him. I think that style's match up well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd like to fight him. Is there any fight announcements or anything? No, not the moment. I've got no opponent at the moment, so I'm just, uh, I'm just waiting on that. Can you describe the moment when you got caught? It's something that I've been, it's something that I've visualised for ages, you know what I mean? I know a lot of people are really happy to get in, and don't get me wrong, I am happy, but it's something that. Um, I expected, to be honest. Maybe not at this point, but it's something that I always expected. So I'm not overly surprised, to be honest with you. It's where I think that should be. And I think there's not a lot of quality heavyweights out there. So um, I'm happy, yeah, but I'm not, I'm not surprised. Safe to say when the UFC come back in February or March, you want to be on that card? Definitely. I'd love to be on a UK card or any card. Any card's good for me, any card, but definitely a UK card I'd like to fight on, yeah. I don't know yet. We're going to see what happens. I've got three kids, so uh, I've still got a job and stuff. So we'll see what happens with that. But I'd love to go, yeah. Obviously, with the DMX title on the line, who do you think is going to take that fight? Um, I don't know. I'm a fan of both guys. Um, I think the Diaz is a bad match for Masvidal, to be honest. I think, um, I think Diaz is going to wear him down. That's what I think. But I don't know, Masvidal's got that crazy power and he, he has a mad style as well, so... Any, I don't know, it's a difficult one, isn't it? So obviously you've got your training partner as well, mm -hmm. that's going to be fighting in yeah. New York. How do you think that fight goes down, break that down? Right? I, think if Till, I think it's a tough fight, but I think if Till gets his range on him, he can, he can beat him for sure, he can definitely beat him. Yeah. Thank you, and then Colin. Thank you.